Alrighty, the new Morris Tech is in. Gonna go and see if it'll crank over. So fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. And that's what we wanted. Got the vacuum tube going up from down here. Can't really see it. But there's a Y, a Y joiner there. Runs up inside the firewall. Comes out. In here. And I've got the data cable hooked up. Morris Tech sitting behind here. So I'll go and grab the lap in here and plug it in and see how we go. Fingers crossed and we'll um, be putting out data. Okay, so here we go. This is loading up the Morris Tech ECU program. Doesn't get much better than this. This is the, uh, the official trade win lappy in style. So I'll click go online now and with a bit of luck this should all load up everything nice and neat. Okay that's good, it's picked up the, uh, the firmware version. It's always a good start. So click on OK and there we go. That is precisely what I wanted to see. The vehicle is idling at 700 rpm Manifold pressure, air fuel ratio, injector cycle, etc. etc. Fuel mappings over on the right, which has got nothing in it yet. Let's give it a bit of a tickle. You can see the yellow there is the current fuel map that's being used. The injector duty cycle. So certainly plenty of overhead room for the um, for the supercharger. Okay, it's been for a quick spin. Uh, red line at 6200, well 6189 using the data logger, and the injector duty cyclone got up to 56 and a half percent. So we're well and truly got plenty of uh, of overhead room to play with. Not going to have any issues with injector overloading or what, so should be all good. Everything idling smoothly. Um, I'll just quickly get back in the data logger to show you what it does. Basically, just real time display, your RPM, your air fuel ratio, your throttle position sensor. Yeah, voltage for your injector, your map sensor, input voltage, injector duty cycle, etc. etc. Fuel, ignition timings, blah blah. So, yeah, it's all looking good.